I grew up in suburbia. My parents took me to petting zoos. As a teenager, I rejected meat and became a vegetarian because I learned that industrial meat production is cruel and inefficient and means raising grain for cattle instead of directly for people. I never actually met anyone who hunted and I didn't really think I wanted to. Then work took me to Alaska, where not only the scenery was rugged and wild, but so is the way many locals like to eat. And I met Spencer. He's a fisherman, commercial harvest diver, hunter, and conservationist. One day, Spencer went fishing and left me a chunk of deer to cut up. Do I look like these men? The deer is a large one. This can be made into two roasts. To make this cut, this new location and way of eating was changing the food on my plate. You'll need your saw, of course. My saw. Alaska is huge, with 600,000 people living in over half a million square miles. The terrain varies from vast arctic tundra to dense temperate rainforests. From herds of migrating caribou to secretive black-tailed deer. I've lived here in Sitka almost 15 years now. It's a small island community with two stoplights, a handful of docks, and no parking structures. Lately, I've been thinking a lot about food. I keep thinking about the ethical way to eat and how you can apply that to where you live. This cabbage is ours. Homegrown potatoes, homegrown celery, venison. We try to eat close to home, but our climate doesn't make growing vegetables easy. Around here, there is a tradition of living off the land of self-sufficiency and eating high in the food chain. And it started with Alaska natives who fished, hunted, and gathered for thousands of years. And it includes newer arrivals like us. So I've been thinking, what is the right thing to have on my plate here? And could I kill to get it? I've been reading a lot about the dilemmas over what to eat. It's a huge issue everywhere but I want to put it into context here and figure it out for myself. And I want to explore what other people are putting on their plates and the choices they're making. Mm -hmm. 